All right, going to turn right back now to the scheduling of the final gubernatorial debate. There has been some controversy about the setting of that date. And joining us now on the phone is the campaign manager for Senator Bono, uh, Jonathan Ducote. We welcome you back to the program. Are you, with this announcement that came out of Montclair State University today, and elect, are you comfortable with this date of the 15th? We are really not comfortable with the date of the 15th. We think it's a tremendous disservice to the public. We think there are too many competing items going on, and that... You know, there, there are really two problems with this. The first is that there's a U.S. Senate uh, special election the very next day that the media should cover and that, you know, the, we think it will be very difficult for the media to properly cover both that race and this debate in the way they deserve to be treated. Yesterday, uh, in an interview, Senator Bono on our air said that, that you know, she's not happy with the date, but she said, where, whenever it's set, I'll be there, essentially. Uh, Will you tell me right now, yes or no, will Senator Bono participate in the debate should it in fact be held on the scheduled date of the 15th? If, if we absolutely, if ELEC and Montclair State can absolutely not move, which we believe uh, Montclair State has said that they, they thought they could do it on the 22nd earlier, if there's absolutely no other way to do it, we will, we will certainly debate. We look forward to a full and robust debate with the do you think that the scheduling of the debate on that day injures your candidate in any way, uh, causes less of a, a attention on the message she's trying to get out? I think it hurts both candidacies, frankly. I think it's a disservice to the public. You know, it, it hurts what should be a really robust discussion in the state about how to help uh, fix the 400,000 people who are out of work and property taxes that are up 20 percent because of uh, this governor. Uh, Elec had said to us when there was the initial flurry of, of controversy about the scheduling of this debate that at that point uh, Senator Bono had not qualified for matching funds, which was one of the criteria that had to be, I guess, achieved in order for them to deal with you on the scheduling of this. Uh, I ask you this question. You have now, in fact, qualified for the maximum in matching funds? Yes, sir. We have, and Elec has uh, given us our first uh, award from the, from the matching funds pool. And, and how far up the food chain in terms of what you're able to raise? Will you max out or not? Right now, we think that we're going to have the resources that we need in order to uh, spread uh, Senator Bono's message, talk about her plans to put 400,000 people out to work, uh, back to work, and to uh, you know, get property taxes under control. All right. Jonathan Ducote, appreciate it, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.